In this video here, we're going to talk about how to figure out what is the right personality type for you. Each couple, man and woman, have certain personality type types that are different from each other, and that's what makes them attracted. You'll notice if you look at different relationships, one person is the more outgoing person. The other is more the quiet one. And these I'm talking about in healthy relationships that tend to last. If you look at couples that have been together for a long time, 10, 20, 30 years, you'll find that they usually have these similarities. And one person is the leader where one is the follower. One is the quiet one, one is the, the social one or the loud one. Uh, one is, let's say, the more logical, practical type, and the other person is the more spontaneous, wild type. <clears throat> So there's four different types of girls that you will you will find, and some will have you know double of these traits or more than one of these traits, but most of them will have one dominant trait, and you probably will have one yourself. So the first type is more of a practical, logical, maybe even nerdyish type of girl. Maybe she's like a computer type person or something like that. And she's very practical about everything. She doesn't care about materialistic things so much. She likes numbers and making sh and the little details. Um, she she's very detail oriented, and everything has to be put in place, organized, and doesn't like spontaneity. She uh, is more reserved. Then you're gonna have a more su super social and outgoing type of girl. This girl loves going to like the club, loves going to parties, loves social events, is talking to everybody all the time. Um, she just loves to socialize. There's gonna be that type of girl. Then you're gonna have a girl who's more emotional. She's gonna be social, uh, but not overly social, not like a party animal type. She'll be friendly and she'll be kind to everybody. She's going to be kind of more like the motherly type, where every, always looking out, making sure everybody's okay. She's going to be kind of on the shy side, but then when you talk to her, she's going to open up and talk like crazy to you. So, But she still will be friendly. She'll enjoy a lot of people's company. She'll enjoy being around others. She'll always be trying to take care of people in the group and making sure like... How are you doing? How's everything okay? Oh, that's good. Always trying to be the, the motherly, kind person. She'll probably be a very emotional type where she, you know, she'll cry a lot in romantic movies and things of that nature. And then you're gonna have more of an aggressive woman. Someone who's kind of like the businesswoman type that is like the powerhouse. She is, she gets what she wants. She is a goal setter, an oriented person, an action taker. She, uh, you know, she's a more dominant female, someone that kind of runs things or is a take charge type of girl. So now what you have to ask yourself is which type of person are you? Are you a more take charge business person? That's me. I'm more of an action guy. I get things done. I'm always starting up businesses and, and things of that nature. Now, my wife is more of the shy, emotional type. She's also practical, so she's kind of like a blend of those. Um, but she's more like the motherly type, which is a good blend for me because I need someone that's going to be more submissive because I'm more dominant. So I'm a very take charge, action, like alpha male type. And she's more like a sub submissive, relaxed person that goes with the flow and kind of is willing to follow a leader. Then there's, a, you know, if you're not an action person and you're more of the shy person or more of an emotional guy, you may want to go better with the girl who's like a take charge person. Then if you're a super social people, uh, super, bleh, super, super social person, there's a tongue twister there. You're going to want probably a more practical person to bring you down to earth. Now, I'm kind of a blend of the take charge guy and a social person. I am a very social person. And I enjoy going out a lot and, you know, going to parties and things like that and doing stuff. So my wife is also a blend of the shy and the practical. So that helps balance me out a lot because she, she's not the type to want to do that as much. Where me, I'm always like, yeah, let's go out. I'm spontaneous. I'm always trying to do things. And she's more like, let's, you know, let's just take it easy. Let's do this. So you want to find the opposite of what you are. You don't want to find the same because if you're, let's say, a super social person, you love going out all the time, and you're with someone else who's super social going out all the time, that's great. You're going to have a lot of fun in the beginning, but then you're going to be kind of irresponsible. Things, things, Nothing's going to ever get done because you guys are always going to be out partying all the time. Nobody's going to want to you know, be the person to say, hey, we need to get some responsibilities taken care of. There's chores that's going to be done. The bill's going to be paid and things of that nature. 
when their social person is more balanced out with the practical, logical person, the logical person says to them, you know, hey, we got to do this. Now, you might be more like, let's say, an engineer type, which is the practical person. If you're like an engineer and you like details and making sure all the rules are followed, then you'd probably be better off with the social person because they'll get you out of your shell. I found that practical people are not the most fun people to be around. No offense if you're a practical person, but just, you know, they're because they're very worried about like responsibilities, following the rules and things of that nature. So having a social person around kind of gets them out of their shell and gets them out a little bit more, has you know makes them take a little bit more risk, chances, and they balance each other out. Where the social person needs to be brought down to earth, and the practical person says like, "Hey, you you know you're a little too crazy. You need to calm it down," so that they work out well together. Okay, um, so figure out what do you think would be your best match? Because if you're let's say an action taker like me, and you're gonna meet another girl who's an action taker. You guys are gonna butt heads and it's not gonna go well. There's just not gonna be, there could be some attraction there, maybe for a casual relationship, but a relationship with that girl is just not gonna work out because you, you guys are gonna be too aggressive. Someone, you need a follower for you, not another leader. And a leader and a leader are, are gonna butt heads, they're gonna fight, and they're gonna be like, I wanna do it my way. No, I wanna do it my way. And, and that's gonna cause a lot of problems and arguments. So you, you're going to want to probably find either someone who's a little bit more practical or more like a shy, emotional, submissive person that's going to go along so that they can kind of just be your supporter. And that's what you'll need. All right. So next, we're going to go over what's the type of girl that you should go with. Not personality, but what suits your interests and what kind of girl are you interested in. So I'll see you in the next one.